Beloved friends, today we continue our exploration of the profound wisdom contained in Patanjali's Yoga Sutras. In our previous discourse, we delved into the significance of devotion to God. However, we must pause and contemplate an essential question. Who is God? Patanjali Rishi does not make vague statements. He is precise and insightful. When he speaks of God, he guides us away from endless debates about which God is superior. Instead, he invites us to reflect on a more universal understanding of the divine. In a world rich with diverse religions and spiritual practices, each tradition holds its own vision of the divine. Patanjali Rishi does not take sides. He does not elevate Rama, Krishna, Shiva, Allah, or Christ above one another. Rather, he steps back and provides us with a broader perspective. He seeks to clarify what God truly signifies and how our relationship with this divine aspect can aid us in mastering our thoughts and ultimately lead us to supreme bliss. He defines God as the special Purusha, a being untouched by the turmoil of sorrow or the burdens of duty and expectation. Life, as we know, is full of challenges. We all experience sorrow, and duty is a constant in our lives. Yet, Patanjali Rishi teaches us that the goal is not to drown ourselves in pleasure or escape from our responsibilities. Instead, we must learn to rise above these experiences, approaching them with a sense of detachment. For instance, imagine a sailor navigating through a stormy sea. The waves may crash around him, but if his ship is strong enough, and if he remains calm and focused, he can steer his ship safely to shore. In a similar way, we aim to transcend the influence of sorrow and our sense of duty, navigating our lives with an inner peace that allows us to fulfill our responsibilities without becoming ensnared by them. Patanjali uses the term purusha here, which transcends gender. It encompasses a broader understanding of awareness, our thoughts and the awareness of those thoughts. In this light, whether we envision God in a male or female form is secondary to the essence of what we are contemplating. Now, it's crucial to acknowledge that while we strive to grow beyond these challenges, the reality is that we may not fully escape them. Instead, we are in a constant process of approximating that supreme state of being. The key is patience, waiting for our ego to dissolve and for clarity to emerge. God, as Patanjali describes, exists in a realm that is truly beyond sorrow and duty. It is not essential which form of God we choose to worship, yet it is vital that we connect with this aspect of the divine. If we seek liberation, we must focus on that aspect of God which can grant us liberation. As we consistently direct our thoughts toward God, our minds gradually begin to align with that divine essence. Consider this. Just as thinking about food makes our stomachs growl with hunger, or fixating on desire can lead us to lust, consistently contemplating God draws us closer to that supreme state of bliss. It becomes a channel through which we can experience divinity. In this sutra, Patanjali Rishi encapsulates the fundamental principle of devotion and its transformative power for a seeker. Through devotion, we cultivate our minds to reflect the purity of the divine, allowing us to break free from the shackles of our lower tendencies. Reflecting on my own journey, I remember the time spent in the Himalayan silence. I felt overwhelmed by the beauty of nature and the divine presence all around me. It was in those moments of deep meditation that I grasped the significance of remembering God. My thoughts shifted gradually, transforming from mundane worries to pure devotion. As my master often reminded us, in the embrace of God, the heart finds its home. This truth resonates deeply as we explore our own relationship with the divine. In the Bhagavad Gita, Lord Krishna reminds us, whichever way people approach me, I respond to them in kind. This highlights that all paths lead to the same divine essence if we approach with sincerity and devotion. Let us carry these insights with us cultivating our devotion and allowing it to guide us toward greater awareness and joy. Through love and dedication, we can transcend our thoughts, merging into the supreme bliss that awaits us. Thank you for being here, sharing this sacred space of learning and growth together.